name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Please be seated. Jesus Christ has made me his own. Philippians 3.12 With a joyful heart and a radiant countenance, we are happy to welcome each of you to witness this event, the first profession of 19 of our novices, namely, Sony Angelina Durki, Elizabeth Dobno, Women Paul, Somaina Basumatari, Nirmala Borgoyeri, Minakshi James, Angel Dikti Gabriel, Sunita Ramsa Mara, Iridalis Karmendai, Rilin Shai Walaitma, Balaris Imyong, Balasuklangs Imyong, Sunibon Surong, Marina Rong Bibi, Jesslyn Lektepi, Tomasina Chisum Sangma, Usha Romita Barwa, Rabina Lingdo, Yusbia Tongni, who are ready to say yes to the Lord. Today, we the CFMSS are glad and thank God, for he still continues to call courageous women to follow Jesus unconditionally. Seeking God is a human quest which is universal. This quest draws one to God and gives added meaning to our religious life. The best example we see in our foundress, Mother Serafina Farolfi, who exclaimed, Jesus who has drawn to him in such an uncommon way that he alone can do is so close to me. I feel him deep within me. I savor him. I wish to love him, repeating unceasingly, Jesus, I love you. Therefore, the first and most essential purpose of consecrated life is to be committed God-seekers. A Christ-like life is not a moment to achieve, but a goal to pursue in a gradual, lifelong part of becoming more and more like Jesus. God calls every religious by name, consecrates by his spirit, and entrusts with a mission to give one's life completely to God in loving service of his people. By his immeasurable grace and mercy, the Almighty has chosen these novices to this way of life and they have responded generously to this call. The visible sign of religious consecration is the profession of the evangelical councils. Dear sisters, as you are going to leave them, along with its joy, you will come across difficult moments, deep sadness, and painful failures, but never cease the entire search for the will of God. Through listening of, to others and the signs of the times. On this auspicious day, we thank God for the gift of each one of you. May Saint Francis and Saint Claire and Mother Serafina assist you and be your models to gaze at the face of Jesus in the Eucharist, contemplate his beauty, and experience his love. May the Blessed Virgin Mary accompany you in the path of following her Son. As we begin the celebration, I extend a warm welcome to the main celebrant of this Holy Eucharistic celebration, our dear Archbishop Emeritus Thomas Menon Parampal, Reverend Sister Dina Polika Chandayel, our provincial, all our dear sisters, friends and well-wishers gathered here. Hearty welcome to each and every one of you. Kindly rise as we begin the Eucharistic celebration. You've already started with the sign of the cross. 
we thank God for the gift of each one of you just now you heard. The gift is given. Give and you shall receive. Give and you shall receive. That's what Jesus says. So it's a self-giving, but it is not a one-way traffic. You are going to receive. Full measure. Press down. Shaken together will be poured in your lap. Very powerful statement in the gospel. Those who are farmers will understand how when they measure, especially the workers, they are they are going to receive that wage, maybe not in cash but in kind, paddy. So they are both very hard. So full measure, pressed down together and shaken together will be put in. Fullest measure possible, the image of a very generous gift to you. So you give, but you will see will be what you will see will be far more. So on the one hand, we express our love to God for our for in our self giving. On the other hand, we are open to him to receive whatever he wants to give. Most of all he gives himself to us. And in Christ Jesus our Lord and in His love in our daily life. May He accompany you all through your lifetime. And may you have the eyes of faith to see Him when you are blind or when He is invisible and when he, to you He seems to be far away because the anxiety you have is very passive. May at the time may you have the Deep faith to understand the Lord is with you. Because what He has promised, He will fulfill. We pray for the novices who will be professed, earlier professed members, superiors of the province, of the house, of all those novice mistresses and others who help you. And remember them all. We have a very special in your own families, parents. Brothers and sisters, everyone who are very close to you, to what some extent there is a little separation. You are giving up a family to be belong to another family. But that giving up is not a fair. total giving up, but certain detachment for the sake of God's kingdom. But you are more attached to your parents, closer to your brothers and sisters, in affection, in love, in faith, in natural relationship. So as you said, as we uh, pray for each other, we also pray about the family that came you to the church and to this congregation. We now would remember everyone who is dear to us. That our prayers may be found worthy in God's sight, let us ask pardon for our sins. I confess to Almighty God.
inspire these our young sisters with the resolve to follow Christ more closely. Grant them, we pray, a blessed end to the journey they now begin, so that they may be found worthy to offer you a perfect gift of a loving service. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from Isaiah 43, verses 4 to 12, which tells us God's unique love and assures us not to be feared, for He is with us always, and reaffirms that we are precious to Him. He is ready to reconcile at any cost with His people, whom He chose and who were lost through their own fault. God chose Isaiah as his witness, and he says, You are my witnesses. You are my servant whom I have chosen. Let us listen to the reading attentively and hear the voice of God calling us to be his witnesses. For I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. And when you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. And the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight, and honor, and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. You are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant, whom I have chosen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to your Sam response. Yeah. 
tells us that as Christians we die to sin and be reborn in Christ through baptism and invites us to live a new life in which sin should have no part. There is therefore something yet more beautiful than justification through faith. It is to live in Christ for God. Thus, in baptism, we are also entering with the resurrection of Christ, and this follows necessarily from being entrained with his death. Let us listen to the reading and ask Jesus to grant us the grace to embrace him and die to our sinful nature as we listen to the reading. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again, that no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. tell you there are someone standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Let 
The right of profession begins now. Reverend Sister Bernadette Fischia, mistress of the novices, will allow those to be professed by name, and they will respond, echoing the words of the prophet Samuel, saying, Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Sony Angelina Terki. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Elizabeth Topno. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Weepen Paul. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Somaina Vasumatari. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Nirmala Borkoyari. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Minakshi James. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Angel Divdi Gabriel. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Sunita Ramsa Mara. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Iridalis Carmen Dai. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Relin Shai Walaik Ma. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Balaris M. Yong. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Balasuglams M. Yong. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Sunibon Surong. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Merina Rompi B. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Jesslyn Lekte B. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Thomasina Chisung Sangma. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Usha Romita Barwa. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Rabina Lendo. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. Eusebia Thongni. Lord, you have called me, and behold, here I am. The celebrant will question our sisters on their readiness to dedicate themselves at the service of the Lord. My dear daughters, what do you ask of Lord and of His Church? We ask for God's love and a share in the life of this religious community of Clarice Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. And I see God. So my dear friends, if at one moment someone very important and also very dear to you turns to you and says, you are precious to me, in a critical moment, what you do is there, but a critical moment, you are precious to me, there is some danger, some critical moment when you say that seriously, you feel not fun. How is how you feel not fun? But a very prominent person comes to you, a big assembly and says, very so and so, and out of very many people, your name is called. You feel affirmed. You feel flattered. It will happen in a village, it will happen in a university, it can happen in a parliament, it can happen in the UN. No matter where you are, in an important context, some prominent person, this strategic moment says, very so and so. Uh, so he needs her, his own help to feel extremely happy. And therefore, if he turns to you and calls you by name in such a moment, certainly you feel for me. And you say, Here I am, what you have done. It's a rare moment in your life when you are saying this. For a very important assembly, 
to have anything. She is born of your life and of the life of, your, of this community. You are saying, here I am. Prepare this. Send me where you like. Jesus said that to the Father. Missionary said, the apostle said to Jesus, and missionaries have said right down the centuries, send me where you like. So, to the Spirit Foundation, I sent you to Ahati, 1626. And to, to Canada. At the time, these distances were enormous. Not like today we can fly. The other one would take two, three years of travel, uncertain. Those two fathers. When I went to Canada and I saw their name on the church of the wall, the date, I said they were. Same group, two came here to Mr. I was in Canada, I was able to identify again with joy, obedience. What do you want? That sister Mother Teresa. Even in Mother Teresa said he must go to Tokyo, not for Olympics, but he must go to Tokyo. And then she changed her mind and I, she said, I'd like you to go to Los Angeles, not Tokyo. For her, makes no difference. Where is Tokyo? There is Los Angeles, they will come from. Two different ends of the earth, but they are equally ready. One to a prosperous place, and one to a poor place. And then one to a dangerous place, and one to a secure but a responsible situation. But from your side, you are ready. Because you are serving a higher cause. What is invited is sacrifice. And the people say, oh, Christianity is a little cross, denial, deny yourself. And younger generation in Europe, they have often said this is negative, very negative. One very famous preacher, Kandara Messa, you want to have heard the name, he preaches to the Pope and to his family, people household. And he said, talking to a small group of our preachers, I was in Rome when he was saying that. Since many young people nowadays say our Christianity is so negative. But those who go to Tokyo, do you think they were idling in their homes, whether it be Devadas or Mary Kong or Shalu Kerabai? These are names that you may have heard. Look how the women have shown their ability. The Indian stores do it, showing their ability, women are showing. Unfortunately, in office is showing. Names that are appearing are from our area. And other stronger people, taller people, physically rather than they are not even here much of men. Something to be admired. And so this uh, these sports person are they disciplined? They are not sacrificing artificially. They are disciplined for a goal they want to achieve. They say Olympic players develop the mentality of success, an achievement mentality. I will win, I win. I don't want to prepare the team from Shillong, other time from Mahana team to preach. So we also come in. in Delhi, and uh, the coach was convincing young people to say, I'm not so good in praying. I, you are an amazing player. Our team is the uh, best team in India. We are going to win. This was like a message of one game and another game. Very disciplined in the preparation, no way for cinema and going for eating and here and there though they, they would be given what is required but discipline right till the last game and they brought back the cup other time it was extraordinary and first time and the itself was new so they were so proud and this therefore when you want to achieve you have to be disciplined 
whatever field you are in, not only in sports, or a soldier, or a businessman, or a, a effective politician, not a politician who is out himself, but a, a capable leader who target something for this country, you have to be disciplined. That is the discipline I require. For a cause, a mother coming from a very rich family, but if she has to bring up a child properly, she has to be disciplined. She has to renounce something, some, uh, something. When the child cries at night, I cannot say this is not the time for me to be free. If she loves, and surely she loves the child, she wakes up. And she does not consider it a pain. Pain becomes non-pain. Pain becomes a reward when you love what you are suffering pain for. If in the process of fighting again you have a little trouble, you lost a little bit of sleep, you had a little something that you wanted to do, you cancel for the sake of, but you won the match, you're happy. You won the goal, you're happy, whatever goal you're giving at. And you saved a life. You saved a life in COVID. Doctors, some who have taken extra trouble to say the you know, Prime Minister of England was sick. She, he himself said he was a bit careless about the rules of protecting himself at the beginning. But he was like a given up case. But he says, talk about a Christian lady who was so religious. Very dedicated. He spoke with emotion when he said, I'm so grateful to her. She worked to make sure that he would be okay and he will recover. So, doctors and nurses who have got a special attention wanting to save life when from the mouth of death they save life. For them, he said, Again, not those, not those routine doctors who don't mind much. I will have my job. I'm not sleeping with that kind of doctors. Those who are committed, whose heart is with every patient, the weaker one. That's why we say, when someone tells you you are precious to me, you always thought you are no good. I have no talents. In my studies, I am poor. In my performance, I am nothing. When I begin to speak, I feel so shy. Or oh, when I see this goes flat. Whatever it is, you know, your limitations. And amazingly, at one moment somebody says, we need your help. I said, young sister, we need to work in the field, uh, suppose in the, in the village. And there are several sisters working with me. And someone says, sister, please can you help me? Uh, yeah, what about the other? No, no, we, we, we think you can be. And a small group is express their confidence in you. And it happens. It happens repeatedly that some key, somebody finds it, your sacrifice or your readiness or your affection, your inability of people, very, very useful, very affirmative, and so they your precious to that group, to that person. So that, that self-denial is not self-denial. It is good to self-denial because when you really take it across, it will be easy. We are not told whether Simon uh, uh, was, who was uh, uh, asked to carry the cross, who really grumbled, was so forced to carry it, he said. Or did he see the pain person was so uh, much in pain? And he heard about him so that he admired him and was happy to do. Many people think of Simon of Sinai, that he was very really happy, they thought they became a saint or somebody of a and we uh, take stories about him. But when they go, when you look at Jesus and you say, I want to be willing for me to carry his cross, you know yourself, if you had more, if he's one of the disciples, one of those who loved him, who had loyalty him to the last, and he said, please relieve him of some of the burden towards him. And you have the privilege, privilege you are considering the privilege. And that burden you are trying well, this is exactly our committed life. That is the since send me. I spoke 
about Vishnu's food, Avesu King Kapara Kasada, he came to uh, 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 at the gate of Gohati, as a town was not existing, and the accounts were here, and other uh, 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 were on the other side, so they could not come too much to this side, and they went to Bhutan, stayed some time in Tibet, then to Nepal, to uh, Patna, go back to Kubi, that is Bhairav. Two years. What did they do? They could only just visit and see if we can do something, but the way of doing work, they could do very little except show love, affection, speak about Jesus, and so on. But they, in their heart, they are happy, and they, what they have written it remains to encourage others after so many years. 400 years after we read with admiration what they have done. That inspires us. And many others, I just spoke about two. Another two, or cricket, or the movie, you may have heard, they wanted to go to Tibet also in the same way. From here, they went to Dinkuta, they tried once, they tried twice, many times. Last time they were going to succeed, they were killed. They were killed. They were going to pay the last price. So, my dear friends, to pay the price for something that you hold dear, it is, it is a, an honor. And today you have many people in religious life, in secular life, people who, for example, are reporters of news, go to Iraq and to Afghanistan and are killed. They are giving fresh news about what is happening there, taking photos and other things like that to send to the rest of the world. All the rest of the world will come to know about what is happening in a difficult situation only through that that uh, uh, journalist said that he showed up there when he's killed in the wrong part of the country. How many have you advised? But the others who know you take those places. Because it challenges you to do something difficult. And you're doing it for society, for public, for the benefit of everyone. And so you do. Much more the work that you do. You will the families bring joy, bring peace, speak about Jesus, bring his, his concern in a personal way. Jesus comes alive for the people through you. Otherwise, they look at the picture, they look at the read the little book. But when uh, like the patient uh, nurse just wipes the face of the patient with the personal attention, half the healing is there already. In a way, we perform it. So, also, a doctor asks you, how, how do you feel? What is the total voice and concern for the patient already happening? That might prepare for healing because the doctor spoke to him with simply concern. As so, you are really interested in healing. And much more when we go, a family where God renders or and you are able to give, speak about living in peace, in love, forgiveness, speak about prayer, value of prayer. We may be very angry when you start praying because of a quarrel. But by the end of the prayer, you feel as though you have forgiven. Without he or she asking forgiveness, I have always prayed. And I would like to ask, sorry. Either directly with the words or with the affection that you show at the end of the prayer. How many times families have said solve their problem because they said they are praying with their sincerity of heart? And it can happen in their community as well. Some difficulty and so on, but the evening prayer was so beautiful. It would be so serene after that. And that problem that ceases to be a problem, but some work to be done with their friends. In this life has this thrilling experience, ecstatic experience, when you look at your sacrifice as an expression of love. It is ecstasy. You heard about very uh, 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 other or John of the Cross. Uh, Saint Teresa Bhavida, 
having an ecstatic experience. Uh, all spiritual leaders said that ecstasy is not important. Your sanctity and other things are no ecstasy. But if you ever watched her pray, when she prayed, it is as though she was having a vision. And she always said, I have no vision. But her faith gave her a vision. She was looking at the universe, with so many photos you may have seen, as though she was having a different vision. Why? Because her faith was strong. Well, this is our ecstasy. In, in helping people to solve their problem, even at any cost. Not necessarily every time we work like this, it will cost us. Maybe it's a pleasure, they enjoy, you go to the family, you talk to one, you talk to another, you settle. Or people when they start to pray in the family, you start with a prayer, and they could develop a habit for prayer, they begin to come to church again, and so on, whatever. You solve the problem. And every time you come back from village or community, whatever you have to do some work, you bring joy. I can help you. I can help these people. Today they are renewed here. And when you have achieved, the greater the trouble you had, the greater the joy. The greater the trouble you had when you succeeded, the greater the joy. And that's why in Kanta Vanessa said, young, young people feel religion is negative. It, you, if you look at it negatively, you become second. Otherwise, this is not saying, suffer for the sake of suffering, suffer for the sake of love, suffer for the sake of dedication. So, this suffering is measured against love, an object of love, God Himself and His people, and His people, various context. The poorer, the weaker, the more wounded, uh, more sick in compassion to the extent that is possible for you. You cannot work miracles all the time, our resources and our energy is limited, but the best of your ability. And as years go by, what do you enjoy most? If you have made much sacrifice for others, you should happy. Happier and happier. Happier and happier. Therefore, I will not emphasize only the cross, the difficulty, challenge. Misunderstanding, there is also part of the process, misunderstanding because of my fault, because somebody else's fault maybe, or the situation. Hot weather, hot weather, it is not my creation. Whatever happened, hot is, when it's hot, it is hot. When it rains, it rains. When it's cold, it's cold. So uh, that's a neutral cause. But sometimes my pretension, I feel offended because I am very, very sensitive, over sensitive. I am very touchy, therefore, what I must I do? A, a healing course where I learn to accept that humiliation I suffer because I am touchy, my touchiness becomes less and less and less. Afterwards, you are not offended. Even Mother Teresa, and Mother Teresa, if you insult her, she is not offended. She feels sorry for what we are offending her. Person who, who, who uh, without capable of understanding, or a victim of that person who marries, say that. But it has got to well, be acquired a stature in our spiritual life. And we have 19 novices, now, now so many profess. Think of the joy you will have. Uh, every day in a missionary life, every day in committed living. It's an ecstasy. It's an exciting day. And may it be true in your heart. Give, and it will be given to you. Give of yourself, of your time, your energy, your ability, your skill, your uh, uh, whatever talent you have. Give, and you will be given full measure, pressed down together, flowing over will be poured into your lap. The picture is so, for farming, people from the farm, you understand, so, and so generous. He's giving out of his abundance. Jesus is using simple statement from day to day life. You see, very, very, very really generous. But he's using that image. May that image remain with you. And there are difficulties and so on. God is going to 
you have given, God is going to give to you. What we do not know. But at the time you say, how I succeeded, I did nothing, great success. All I appreciate you, something that I did. It was not troublesome at all, very easy. And all because the Lord is seeking what you did not deserve. That is why when they blame you when you have not done a mistake or they blame you, don't uh, feel sad because other times you will receive praise that you did not deserve. More than you require, more than you deserve. In other words, life is precisely this. You do not care. Care, you will not suffer, where you will be rewarded, but God's reward will be with you. Always you will be God, uh, evaluation of you. Which you know in, in your inner heart, this was a useful thing. Here I have done something worthwhile. There I do not make much effort, they are appreciated, I am happy, I am grateful to God, but it is He who has done. As the Lord accompanied this man in his stretch, all their lifetime, as well as others who have built the profession. Some years ago, many years ago, or even very many years ago, before the Lord were equal. All our children, we stand before and say, Lord, enable me to grow in my generosity. This is the prayer that we should say in our heart when we are making a profession. It's a, the very profession is an expression of generosity. Generosity will enable me to grow in my generosity. Right? That be the prayer of all of us. May God bless each of those who are profess and their dear ones. The celebrant now will question our novices who are to make first profession of their readiness to devote themselves to God. Thank you, sisters. You are already consecrated to God by water and the Spirit. Are you resolved to be more closely united to God by the new bond of religious profession? I am so resolved. Can you desire to follow Christ perfectly? Are you resolved to live in chastity as a sign of the kingdom of heaven, to practice voluntary poverty, and to offer the sacrifice of obedience? I am so resolved. May Almighty God give you His grace to fulfill your solutions. Amen. The appropriate time has come when our sisters will profess publicly their consecration and fidelity to the Lord, pledging to leave the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience. The sisters will bring out their commitment to God in Christ. Reverend Sister Dina Polinka Chandayev, the provincial superior, will receive the vows in the name of the congregation. And two of our sisters, Sister Bernadette Kishyar and Sister Deepa Santaladi, stand as witnesses. To the glory of God, I with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly. Since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters into your hands, sister, for one year, want to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience according to the rule of St. Clare. Confirmed by the Supreme Court in Innocent Court and the Constitution of the Christ Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, 
our mothers in prayer, all the saints, and Venerable Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the ability and respect to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarish Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, Elizabeth of Knox, to the glory of God, and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly, since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for one year, for to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of St. Claire, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff Innocent Paul and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan missionaries of the most blessed sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family, that I may report my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father St. Francis, our Mother St. Claire, all the saints, and Venerable Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority entrusted to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarish Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you have fulfilled your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. <coughs> I bid my voice to the glory of God and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of my other sisters. Into your hands, sister, for one year, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff Innocent Paul, and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan, missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren, to the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints, and wherever Mother Serafina and the help of my sisters. By the authority entrusted to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarish Francis and Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, Sumaina Gusmadari, to the glory of God, and and I am very firm will follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly, since the Lord has given me His grace in the presence of the sisters into your hands, sister, for one year about to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme, Pontiff Innocent Ford, 
and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family that I will give out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints, and Venerable Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority entrusted to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church of the Community of Clarish Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with his Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, the Mula Bulgari, to the glory of God and with your firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly, since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters in your hand, sister, for one year, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of Saint Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff in our Saint Paul and the constitution of the Paris Franciscan missionaries of the most blessed sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family, that I will give all my total consideration to God in the service of my brethren, through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father St. Francis, our Mother St. Claire, all the saints, and Venerable Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority and trusted to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarish Francis Commissioners of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you Goddess Little God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with the Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, Minakshi James, to the glory of God and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters into your hand, sister, for one year, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Court, the Innocent Pope, and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family that I may give out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints and Venerable Mother Seraphina and the help of my sisters. By the authority understood to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarish Francis Commissioners of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication, which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. Angel Dithi Gabriel, to the glory of God, with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly, since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for one year, vow to live in chastity, 
poverty and obedience according to the rule of Saint Clare, confirmed by the Supreme Body, Innocent Four, and the constitution of the Clarence Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family, that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren, through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints, and Venerable Mother Seraphina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority entrusted to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarence Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you honestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, Sunita Samara, to the glory of God, and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly. Since the Lord has given me this grace, in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for one year, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience. According to the rule of Saint Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Court of Innocent Four, and the Constitution of the Paris Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family, that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren. Through the efficacious essence of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Pierre, all the saints and venerable Mother Sarakina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority understood to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarish Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, I do this common life, the glory of God, we a firm will follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly, since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for one year, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of Saint Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff Innocent Fold and the constitution of the Clarence Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren, to the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of the Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Clare, all the saints, and Venerable Manas Rafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority entrusted to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarish Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you honestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with his Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. Uh, 
I will shine what I am to the glory of God and be among will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly. Since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for one year, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience. According to the rule of Saint Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff in the Saint Paul, and the constitution of the Clarence Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart in this religious family, that I may live up my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren, to the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints, and Venerable Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. My dear dear sister to me, I accept your words in the name of the Church for the community of Clarice Francis Commissioners of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication, which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I Paris in you to the glory of God and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters into your hands, sister, for one year, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience. According to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff in our St. Paul, and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family that I may leave out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren, to the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Clair, all the saints, and the Venerable Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority understood to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarice Francis Commissioners of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with his Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, by Simeon, to the glory of God, I will have fulfilled to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly. Since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hand, sister, for one year, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed the Supreme Pontiff in our St. Paul, and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to the religious family, that I may leave out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren, to the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father, St. Francis, our Mother, St. Clair, all the saints, and Venerable Mother, Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority understood to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarice Francis Commissioners of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you honestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication, which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, Sunni Bansurong, 
to the glory of God, and we affirm we to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly, since the Lord has given me this grace. In the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for one year, walk to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff, Innocent Food, and the Constitution of the Carlist Franciscan, missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family, that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren, through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Birth Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints, and Venerable Mother Serafina, and the help of my sister. By the authority and trust to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Flourish Francis and Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with his Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I am Irina Rompipi, to the glory of God, and with a full will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly, since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for one year, while to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Court in Innocent Court, and the Constitution of the Paris Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family, that I may give out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren, through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints, and Venerable Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority entrusted to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarish Francis and missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you honestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication, which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I just in let you be to the glory of God and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly. Since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for one year, while to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff in Asian Fold, and the constitution of the Clarence Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament, Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints, and Venerable Mother Serafina and the help of my sisters. By the authority and to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarice Francis Commissioners of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you honestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I, Thomas Sinas Jason Samba, to the glory of God, and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly, since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for one year, while to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff in Ocean Fort, and the Constitution of the Clarice Franciscan, Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family, that I may live up my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren, through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of the Mother Virgin Mary, our Father St. Francis, our Mother St. Clare, all the saints, and Venerable Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority and mercy to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarish Francis Commissionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you, Horace Little God, that you may fulfill your dedication, which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, Usharamita Parva, to the glory of God, and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly, since the Lord has given me this grace, in the presence of the sisters, into your hand, sister, for one year, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Court of Innocent Fourth, and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan, missionaries of the most blessed sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this religious family, that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren, through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father St. Francis, our Mother St. Clair, all the saints, and Venerable Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the authority and trusted to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Flourish Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you earnestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, Rabbi Nalindo, to the glory of God, and with a firm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly. Since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of the sisters, into your hands, sister, for one year, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff in London Court, and the constitution of the Clarice Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Therefore, I trust myself with all my heart to this religious family that I will lift up my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren through the efficacious action of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father Saint Francis, our Mother Saint Claire, all the saints, and Venerable Mother Serafina and the help of my sisters. By the authority and trusted to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarish Francis Commissionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you honestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with this Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen. I, 
you spirit for me to the glory of God and will affirm will to follow the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ more perfectly. Since the Lord has given me this grace in the presence of sisters, into your hands, sister, for one year, vow to live in chastity, poverty, and obedience. According to the rule of St. Clair, confirmed by the Supreme Pontiff in our Saint Paul, and the constitution of the glorious Franciscan missionaries of the most blessed sacrament. Therefore, I entrust myself with all my heart to this virtuous family, that I may live out my total consecration to God in the service of my brethren. Through the efficacious action, of the Holy Spirit, the intercession of Immaculate Virgin Mary, our Father St. Francis, our Mother St. Clare, all the saints, and Venerable Mother Serafina, and the help of my sisters. By the Lord and Blessed to me, I accept your vows in the name of the Church for the community of Clarice Francis Commissioners of the Most Blessed Sacrament. I commend you honestly to God that you may fulfill your dedication which is united with his Eucharistic sacrifice. Amen.
Now the celebrant will present the newly professed the rule and constitution of the CFMSS family.
and see the rule of this religious community and show by your whole life what you have generously done. Amen. Receive the rule of this religious community and show by your whole life what you have generously done. Amen. Let us share the joy of our dear sisters as we sing the thanksgiving hymn. Christ, 
and the religious profession of these sisters. Let us offer our praise to God, our Almighty Father, through Jesus Christ, who is the source of our life. We also pray for good and holy vocations to the church. Many more young boys and girls dedicate their lives to carry out God's love to the world. Symbolic gifts to the altar, 
They give sentiments of joy. Let us join them and sing the Ovid free hymn.
our sacrifice may be acceptable and from thank you, Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the oblations and praise we offer you as we celebrate the beginning of religious profession and grant that the first fruits of your servants may be transformed by your grace into a plentiful harvest through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And be your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just for our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and the Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. He is the unblemished flower who sprang from the root of the Virgin and declared the pure of heart and blessed, in teaching by his way of life the surpassing worth word of chastity. He chose always to hold fast to what is pleasing to you and becoming obedient for our sake, even unto death, he willingly offered himself to you as a perfect and fragrant sacrifice. He consecrated to a fuller life of service those who, for love of, of you, leave all earthly things, and probably said they would find a treasure in heaven. And so with the community of the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the charges and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
glory about his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered together into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all the world. Let us remember all those who have died through the reason of COVID. And let us think of so many doctors and nurses who, who gave their life, we can say, generously for patients. And let us think of millions of missionaries throughout the centuries who did this similar kind of service in various contexts. Remember your servants whom we have called from this world due to ailments or due to service, grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may come to be for heirs to eternal life, and I praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and with him, in, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. May gratefully fulfill 
the duties of religious life they have begun and they offer you willing service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God, that the inspired of all who resolve, foster your purposes and strengthen your hearts that what you have promised you may keep with the persevering faith. Amen. Amen. May he grant you to hasten in the joy of Christ along the narrow way that you have chosen, rejoicing to bear the burdens of your brothers and sisters. Amen. May the charity of the God of God make you a family brought together in the Lord's name to show forth the image of the love of Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who in peace and love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please proceed. Mom, Sister Angel, and Sister Jessie, we'll speak a few words of thanks. Good afternoon, your grace, sisters, and my dear friends. It is a privilege and a great joy for me to express the sentiments of gratitude on behalf of all my companions. Today, we are glad indeed to thank the Almighty God for the precious vocation He has given to us. He has blessed us abundantly in many ways that gives us profound joy and gladness. His tender love for each one of us is specially expressed by calling us to be a Eucharistic missionary in the family of Clarice Franciscan missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Our special thanks go to our Most Right Reverend Archbishop Emeritus Thomas Menambaranville, the main celebrant of today's Eucharistic celebration. Thank you, Your Grace, for your generosity to accept our invitation and for inspiring of, and presiding over this Holy Eucharist meaningfully with a good and inspiring homily and praying for us. With a sense of gratitude, we thank you, dear Reverend Sister Dina Pulikachandai, the Provincial Superior of Mother Serfina Province, Northeast, for your timely guidance, constant support, thoughtfulness, encouragement, and for all the opportunities you have given to us to grow and, be, and to be what we are today. Above all, we thank you, dear sister, and your counsel for your willingness and generosity to accept us as members of the CFMSS family. We assure you our prayers for all your undertakings. We also take this opportunity to thank our Superior General, Reverend Mother Karna Gurvantanam, Reverend Sister Sebastina Olikil, the Provincial Superior of St. Clair Province, Dehradun, Reverend Sister Joyce Sadatil, the Provincial Superior of St. Francis Province, Delhi, and their team, for their prayerful support and for the many opportunities they have provided us to become true Eucharistic missionaries. May God reward you for all that you have done for us. Our special gratitude to our beloved parents, brothers, sisters, and relatives who gener generously offered us to God for His loving service and for encouraging us 
through their prayers. May they experience God's blessings, continuous help and guidance at all times in their lives. We are deeply indebted to all our formators who have played different roles in our life journey at different stages of formation. A special thank to Sister Bernadette, Sister Carmen, Sister Agnes, and Sister Pratipa, who, like a mother, sister, and mistress, has given all their energy, time, and talents in forming, molding, and guiding us throughout these two years of our mission life. May God reward you all and guide you to form many more young ones into the blessings of God. A word of appreciation and gratitude for all those who have helped us and supported us in different ways to reach this auspicious day, namely Fathers at Bojha Parish, Father Vipin and Community OSJ, and Father Joseph Naranar and Community at Asra Don Bosco University for their generosity in providing us with spiritual help at any time whenever we are in need. We also fondly remember all our retreat preachers, confessors and all those priests and sisters who have enlightened us through their talks and life. Very especially we remember dear Reverend Father Matthew Chani who stayed longer time with us and enriched us spiritually. Thank you and may God reward you all for your generosity and goodness. A note of thanks to Reverend Father John Berman MSFS who prepared us for this day through a retreat. Our heartfelt thanks to Sister Jane and the Provincial Lake community for arranging this program here and making it a memorable one. We also thank all our CFMSS sisters for your valuable prayers and support, especially for joining us spiritually on this joyous day to praise and thank the Lord. We acknowledge our gratefulness to dear Sister Krepita and Sister Christina and all the junior sisters and postulants <coughs> for making this Eucharist Eucharistic celebration solemn through their melodious singing. We thank Sister Nirmala and sisters for decorating the altar gracefully. We also thank all those who have extended their hands to make this day a memorable one. Once again, we thank one and all present here. Please do keep us in your valuable prayers as we begin our religious life today. May our years strengthen our desire to fulfill God's will in our lives in holiness. Once again, thank you. Sister Pratima we pray down the messages of Mother General, Most Reverend Karuna, Guru Pandanam, and the Provincial of St. Francis Province, Sister Joyce Taratu, and the Provincial of St. Clair Province, Sister Celestina Holika. Go and kindle and carry the love of the Eucharistic Jesus to all. Venerable Mother Serafina, our dear sisters, Sony and Elizabeth, St. Francis Florence Delhi, Vipin, Somena, Nirmala, Meenakshi and Angel, St. Clair Province, Dharadun, Sumita, Ayrithalis, Rilinshai, Balari, Balasam, Balasuklam, Sunibon, Marilyn, Jesley, Thomasina, Usha, Rabina and Eusebia, Mother Serafina Province, Northeast India. Joining with each of you in praising and thanking the Lord as you respond with courage and faithfulness to the invitation of Christ Jesus to be of his own. Yes. It is indeed a day of rejoicing for our Institute of the Clarist Franciscan Missionaries of the Most Blessed Sacrament, 
and as all 19 of you make your first profession to the Lord in our family. Congratulations, dear sisters. I pray for you and bless you, dear daughters, on this very significant day of your life. May you strive daily to be with Him, listening to Him and growing in union with Him in the Eucharist as Mother Claire exhorts us, saying, Love Him totally, who gave Himself totally for your love. May the Blessed Virgin Mother guide you and lead you in your efforts in responding to the Lord's call of love. The unflinching love towards the Eucharistic Lord and the missionary ardor of our Venerable Foundress, Mother Salvina, be your guiding force always. With a warm and loving embrace in union with Christ, Mother M.C. Karuna Kavantanam and Sisters in the General Council. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. Jeremiah 1.5 It was not you who chose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that shall remain. John 15.16 My dear sisters, Vipin, Somaya, Dharmana, Binashi and Angel, on behalf of all the sisters of St. Clair Province, I give thanks to Jesus Christ for the gift of each one of you to our CFMS's family. On this graceful occasion of your first commitment to the Lord, we implore the merciful and ever-loving God the Father to purify you all in the precious blood of Jesus his Son and anoint you with his Holy Spirit and empower you to accomplish his plan in you and through you. Even though we cannot be physically present, we are spiritually united with you in prayer to thank the Lord. I also take this opportunity to wish you God's gorgeous blessing on you, dear sisters, Sony and Elizabeth of St. Francis Province, Sunita, Ayritaris, Dylan Shai, Balari, Balasulang, Sunipon, Marina, Jocelyn, Tomasina, Usha, Ravina and Eusebia of Madhusarifina Province for your generosity in responding to the call of Lord Jesus in the family of Siyabu Moses following the gospel of our Lord Jesus. May the Lord who has begun the good work in you help you to bring it to perfection and completion. May the Lord Jesus in the Eucharist be glorified in and through your lives. Congratulations to all with warm embrace, Sister Lucina Oriakil and Sister Susan Clare Province. My dear sisters, greetings of peace and joy. May God bless you and event of the day. May his angels hover over the venue and every person present in this premises. May the youngsters who have taken this noble and bold step be enveloped by his spirit and their hearts be overwhelmed with his love. May he strengthen their resolution to be Eucharistic missionaries and carry on the legacy of our beloved foundress Mother Serafina and enable them to find the purpose and meaning of their consecrated life. Congratulations to all with love and prayerful wishes, Sister Joyce Tadatin and Sisters of St. Francis Province.